Morning everyone, welcome back. It's seven o'clock, the kids are still in bed, so I thought I'd get out for an hour or two shooting before they get up. And um, while I was getting all the kit together ready to go, I just thought it'd be a good opportunity for anybody who's interested to show you just some of the things that I use. So mainly today we'll be going for pigeon and rabbit because pretty much that's all that's in season at the moment. So for those, for pigeons, we'll be using shotguns and for these we've got 12 gauge Beretta Silver Pigeon. It's a really nice gun. I got this off uh, Tracy's uncle. I bought it off him when he was giving up his license. It's really nice, smooth, fits nice and it's a really nice well-made gun. My friend's coming with me today as well so I'll be taking this Lambda. I don't know what model number it is but this was the first gun I bought and it's also a really nice gun. It's got some lovely game scenes etched into it, woodcock, pheasant, wild duck. So that's another really nice gun. These are both 12 gauge shotguns and the ammo we'll be using for them are these stone dead 30 grain number sixes. So anything we'll hit with these, they'll just drop like a stone with a bit of luck. We carry them around in a a cartridge belt like that, it holds 25 cartridges, so that'll be more than enough for when we're out today. If we run out of them, we'll be having a good day. Also, we're going for rabbits, so we'll be taking this uh, 2.2 LR, it's a CZ455, long rifle, with a silencer on and a scope. And for that, it's got a five shot magazine, and I'll be using these CCI Subsonics 40 grain hollow points and that's what they look like so hopefully we'll see a few rabbits out and maybe get some of them in the freezer also when it comes to winter the 2-2 has a extension on the back there which you can attach this night scope to is the pad 007 so it just literally clips on like that snaps into place and that turns it into a night vision rifle so yeah, it's nice, light, it's got a bipod on it if you don't want to use sticks to hold on to and it's all pretty simple basic setup but it does the job and hopefully we'll bring some stuff home to get in the freezers. So I'm going to get all this bagged up, get it in the car and I'll be off. Well, we've just got back from shooting this morning. We've got a couple of wood pigeons and a nice rabbit there to show for our efforts. So we'll go and get these plucked and dressed and ready for the freezer. Just finished plucking the pigeon there and this one's actually a lovely clean carcass it's only had one uh shot hit it there so it's a nice clean carcass all i'm going to do now is i don't know if you can see that but it's got a lot of little like fine down on it so i'm just gonna use a blowtorch and just blowtorch all that all that fine down off 
just quickly moving the over so not to heat up any of the skin and that just give that a, a rub off and then that just cleans all that down off there so it's a nice smooth carcass right all i'm going to do to dress it is just get yourself a little knife we're just going to cut the feet off at that little joint there and cut the head off through the neck and then all you do is take that bit of skin off at the back of the neck and then just pull that neck out take all the the skin off the neck because you want to be leaving that cropping with all its food in and that so that neck you just give it a little cut and snap it and then that'll just cut off and then you want to take the crop out without bursting it so you just run your fingers down the side it's a bit fiddly with it being a small bird but you just pull that skin away like that and you'll see that crop coming away from the skin like that and then just cut that out there next go to the front and just put a little nick in the front like that not cutting the guts or anything and then just slight gently ease that away to open it up like that and then just get your fingers inside and go right to the back where the neck was and then just try and grab the windpipe missed it there but and then just pull all that inside out and then just cut around the vent at the front like that so some tissue do is just go inside with the tissue just clean that up just clean that up and then you can just take the, the lungs out and just get right in and get that Windpipe out that's left. Bit late. Yeah, bit there. And just give it a clean. Nice little dressed pigeon. The other one was in a bit of a worse state, so I'll probably just cut the breasts off the other one, like you do with chicken, and we'll just use the meat off the other one. But this one we'll keep as a whole bird. Right now we'll get onto the rabbit. It's already been gutted out in the field, so we don't need to do that. We just need to dress it. So I'll quickly show you how we do that. Now this one's been cleaned head shot. So the, all that meat will be good. There'll be no waste there. It'll all be clean. So all we'll do is with this one, we'll just dress it, leave it as a whole carcass, and it'll just go in the freezer like that for when we're ready to use it. Right, to skin this off, you can do it a lot of ways, but the easiest way I find it is where you've already gutted it. Just get your finger in there and ease the skin away from the meat and the same from the other side so you can actually get your hands in like that take your knife cut the skin like that 
and then you just get both halves and then you can just pull it like that and that'll just pull on and then the top bit you just pull away like that over the legs over the head like that and then all you do there is you just pull that off the feet pull that off the feet and it leaves the head inside the skin and then you just cut through that neck take the head off and then all I just do is just go on the feet cut that off and then that one cut that one off and then on the back cut the tail off and then the back legs. Same as the front. So I just put your knife on them, chop it off. And again, chop it off. And like I say, because it was shot through the head there's no lost meat on that rabbit there. So we'll just give that a wipe down with a damp cloth and that'll just go straight in the freezer. Right, they've been in the fridge for a couple of hours just to chill down. Um, Tracy didn't want the whole rabbit, so all I've done with that is I've just took the, the loins off, the back legs and the shoulders. So these will be kept to go in casseroles. The, loins and the pigeon breasts off the other pigeon that wasn't as good as that one when i got it all plucked they'll go in either stir fry or put them with some uh, belly pork and they'll go in a pie and then you've got your full bird that will go with another few that we've got in the freezer and yeah a decent plate of meat for an hour and a half out plodding along the fields so that's just a little bit of free wild food that will go towards possibly replacing the beef if that's what we decide to do so thanks for watching and hope you like the video see you next time